What does a narcissistic person want the most from you? I mean, the answer, right, is supply. Of course, they want your supply. They want the energy, the focus, your emotional care, all of that going toward them. End of video, right? No, not even close. Before we start, my name is Lise Colucci and I'm a life coach here to help you understand and heal from toxic people in your life. What the narcissist is gaining from interactions with you is a reflection of self that they see in every interaction with you. They're basically always looking to others to mirror back to themselves who they are. They're looking for you to show them how amazing you see them, how great they are, anything that serves the narrative of who they believe they are. They're looking for your acts of service. They're looking for your attention and for your giving and for your spending your life accommodating them. They're looking to see that they have you under their control. Okay. They're looking to see that you are jumping through hoops, that you are begging and pleading for them to be nice to you, that you are needing them, that you're focused on needing them. I mean, here's the thing. Needing them doesn't always look like it sounds. So sometimes, let's just take the case of a narcissistic mother. She may put you down. She may criticize you. She may tell you you're not doing things right. You are always messing up and just be completely vile in her words to you. And you think to yourself, how is that making me need her? Well, what it's making you do is every child has the need for their parents approval. Even if you're an adult, the child that was you, who was raised by that narcissistic person, the inner child, inside of yourself, there is a little tiny need or even a big giant need for her approval, okay? And by putting you down, she's basically making you reach back to her for that approval. And the thing is, it doesn't always look like that. What it looks like is engagement, argument, debate, saying, why are you saying this to me? You know, engaging in the conversation with them gives them the fuel they need to feel needed, to feel like you are in their life and they have control of you. Another thing a narcissistic person is really looking for in you and taking from you is the feeling that they get about themselves, how you make them feel about themselves. And you might think to yourself, well, I'm angry with them all the time. I, they can't be feeling too good about themselves. They don't care. What that proves is you're wrong. They're great and amazing. You're wrong, right? And so the more wrong they see you, the more perfect and amazing and great they see themselves because they won't take accountability. And of course, they're finger pointing back at you. So it really doesn't matter whether it's you're reflecting this admiration and adoration toward them or if you're reflecting a negative toward them, they're still seeing it through their narrative that they're better than you. And so it all comes in as supply. So a narcissistic person has a pathological addiction to the feedback that you give them about themselves. They lack a true self. Okay. And they gain from others reflecting back to them and from, from others giving to them. And all of this is to get attention. It's kind of like a psychological addiction to the ego feed of attention and the energy that's being pulled from other people from you going toward them. And through this, through this energy pull, they have the feeling of grandiosity. They have the feeling of power, of validation, of admiration. And you know, like I said, even through the negative, they are receiving this because by you engaging with them in the negative, you are proving in the narcissistic world, in the narcissistic mind, their superiority. Have you ever had a situation where a narcissist will gaslight you and you react? You may react in many different ways, but you have a reaction. So say you engage with it and say, that's not what happened. And you start arguing the point and you start engaging in the circular argument that happens with the narcissistic person. And then have you had them turn it off, go stone cold and kind of superior and smug while you are spinning in your emotional response and they look like the calm one and you look like the reactive one who's the one having an issue. Well, you see how through that they have just gained a vision of themselves, which is how they want to see themselves superior. Is all of this making sense? 
Let me know in the comments section what you think and what you have experienced. You guys, this is crazy making to people like us who are just trying to have healthy relationships in our life, okay? We are going about our lives trying to just relate to the people who are in our lives, right? And when someone is playing these games and someone is doing all of this, you can really see through this video in particular how self-focused a narcissistic relationship is, how it all goes back to the one person who is the narcissist leaving you as nothing more than there to feed their ego, there to feed the supply to them. And this is painful. It's a painful realization. It's a painful discovery to see this in your partner, your friend, your family, right? And so if you need help, please reach out. There's information about how to reach me for coaching or group coaching in the main description of every video, as well as information on a Facebook group where there is peer support. So I just wanna wrap it up here and say that the endless need for validation and attention is what the narcissistic person is seeking from you. So in an attempt to feel powerful, in control, and support the narrative that they are projecting out into the world about who they want you to believe that they are, the narcissist is constantly doing this by seeking supply. And I just described some of the ways that we interact with them that gives them this supply. Does the narcissist see you as a whole and complete human being with the thoughts and feelings, emotions, and a life of their own? No, they do not. They were never interested in that in the first place.